I hope we get this one in. I do too. Get up here. Come on. As long as I get the net. Anyway. Yeah, finally got a decent one. So what are you cooking up tonight, Joyce? Today we're going to have red snapper over a bed of caramelized onion and carrots. What's that, that red snapper we caught the last red that snapper was, season? It was uh, July 10th. Yeah, last red snapper season. Yeah, 2021. Maybe we'll have another one. They gave us right. three days last year to catch red snapper on the uh, Atlantic side in Florida. And that's the snapper that's been froze for almost... A year. Yeah. Yeah, while well, you're freezing the water, it's like fresh. It looks fresh. almost fresh. So hopefully this year we have a another red snapper season. On the fish, what we will do with that, we'll, um, we're going to coat that with a quarter cup of mayonnaise, a teaspoon of granulated garlic, and a teaspoon of uh, Old Bay. That's going to go in there, and you'll mix that up. Get that all mixed up, and that's going to go on the red. We're going to coat the red snapper with that. That comes up next. Now, also the breading for the red snapper is um, a half a cup of cornmeal, two tablespoons of cornstarch, eighth teaspoon of pepper, and an eighth teaspoon of salt. And you'll mix that up. The easy way to do that is just take it and shake it around like this and it incorporates the cornstarch in there. And you want to mix that up real good. Okay, next is the caramelized onion. Here's the two nice sized medium onions that'll probably make about what we need is two cups of onions sliced very thin and then the carrots you julienne them, or if you don't have one of these little gadgets here, this is a very handy thing to cut the strips. I'll show you after I peel the carrots and show you how that works. And this is a little slicer I use for the onions. And you'll need two cups of those. And then you're going to need three tablespoons of brown sugar and a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper will go in the onions. And you need three tablespoons of oil in the pan. And that's it for now. And we'll get back to you as soon as we start cooking. Okay, we're getting we're going to slice the onions up. This little slicer I've had for years works really good. You can see how thin they get the uh, onions. Pretty neat. Yeah, so you'll need about two cups of this will make about two cups of onions. So while you're doing this, you get the you put your three tablespoons of oil in the pan and start getting that up to, you don't want it really hot, so just put it on your burner on medium, and that gets, starts getting warm. And then you just and That's all there is to slicing. It makes it a lot easier if you can find one of those. So you're gonna stick those in the pan. Next is your carrot. You gotta peel it. And then you'll use this grater, little grater, and that works just like this. You pull it down on the carrot or whatever you got to use. Want to do this, but it makes it really a neat little tool. Stick them in there. Just 
salt and your pepper. And what you're doing with these, you know, get them in there. You want to get them so the onions are soft and translucent. And keep it, you don't want them up on high. You just want to just let them simmer, basically. And we'll get back to you when they're done, when we add the brown sugar. Okay, while your onions are cooking, you want to make sure you pat your fish so it's dry. Get all the moisture out of it. Put that back in your bowl. And take the mayonnaise mixture. Okay, the onions are ready to put the brown sugar in. They want them to look like this, sort of you see through them. So you put your brown sugar in. And what I also like to do is add about a tablespoon of water in there. And you just mix the brown sugar up in there. And you're gonna cook, let that cook down a little bit. So the brown sugar gets into the onions. Yeah, just a little bit more water. Okay, while they're finishing up, you're going to bread your fish. Put your breadcrumb mixture on a plate. Just take the fish and pat it into the mixture, both sides. Now you turn your broiler on because these will go under the broiler after you fry them. So make sure your broiler's on so that's starting to get hot. And the onions are cooking nicely now. Turn it down a little bit. Okay, now you get your grease hot. You don't want it real hot because you're going to lightly brown the fish. Oil, right? Yeah, I'm saying it's the old times calling it grease. Uh, Crisco, lard. Crisco, yeah, lard. <laughs> okay, now you're going to put your fish in there. Okay, you're It'll take probably about two minutes on each side. So this must have been one of the big red snappers. Yeah, that's a, they're, that gets their wood about three quarters of an inch thick. Yeah, so that, yeah. that made more than one. Mm 
more than two fillets out There's of it. Actually, you can get, <laughs> if you're no, in a I mean, restaurant. The whole fish. Oh, yeah. It's, it's uh, big. Remember the size of the fish? Mm -hmm. That was a big fish. Yeah. That one. Normally, we just cut them in half, really. There's enough here for four people for the two. Okay. Take them out. Put them on your boiled pan. under the broiler, let them finish up in there. That gets them nice and brown. Set them for two minutes. So it's like two minutes total? Of the, uh, no, oh, it'll okay. take two minutes because you, uh, you want to keep an eye on Think I'll flip them, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'll flip it back over. And these are done, so you can just turn the burner off. Just let them sit there. Put the broccoli on that one. What I did here is we're having bro steamed broccoli, so I took a little bit of the carrots and grate it some more and put them in the broccoli. And we're gonna have mashed potatoes. They're ready to flip over. Almost done. You want to keep an eye on them um, so they don't burn. They, they, and you want fish nice and hot when you're cooking it. They're cooking very nice right now. You can see them bubbling. We've got one more minute to go. Okay, the potatoes are done. So what I'm gonna do is drain them. Yep, I might give this one these. I might give them just a little. You don't want to overdo them because they're mm -hmm. cooking while they're hot. But I might give them just a little bit, about 30 seconds in there. Okay, while that fish is finishing up there, I'll start getting the potatoes mashed. Get the fish out. In the season again this year. They don't tell you till the last minute. It's usually in July, first part of July. We're going to finish up the mashed potatoes. Put a little bit of milk in there. I like to make the mashed potatoes with the skin on. These are red skins. 
taste them. It's got plenty of salt. Okay, we're ready to fix the plates. The broccoli's done. So we'll take that out of this little steamer. Put it back in the pot. It's broccoli. What I like to do with that is drizzle a little bit of the oil. You can use butter, but we like the oil. What kind of oil is that? Canoli. Canola. Or canola, however you... you can use olive oil. That's ready. Okay, we're ready to fix the plates. Take your onions, lay them out. Well, Joe says red snapper really looks good. Well, tonight's dinner is red snapper with caramelized onion and carrot, steamed broccoli with carrots, and mashed potatoes. And Sam's favorite homemade tartar sauce. That you make. That I make. Make the relish. Yeah, you make the relish. You don't make the mayonnaise. No. I tried <laughs> mayonnaise. That's not, that doesn't work. No, don't pay. No. All right, well, if you enjoy our videos, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we want to thank everybody out there that already subscribed to our channel. We really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video.